All right, guys, welcome to episode 162 of Dope Talk TV. Is yours truly low key? Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Another Don't one. forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. Go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, and go check us out on Patreon, man. That's where we turn up, we smoke, you know what I'm saying? We sip a little bit, yeah. and that's where we're going to have our guests from now on, all right? So yeah. go over over there check us out and uh yeah man we appreciate yeah. everybody how we feeling johnny it's a beautiful day yeah i was feeling good man i'm feeling good man you know what i was feeling better when i had my joint in my hand but since i can't smoke with y'all you know what i mean you, you gotta guys go to patreon you gotta go to patreon man that's just how they go you gotta hang out over there yeah, that's where the real shit happens nah for real real conversations all that all that yeah bro but yeah man it's nice so it's, it's crazy right because the world's getting crazy bro and there's been a lot of shit going on lately right in this country, other countries, the, the, you know, the war talk, all this shit, right? And you brought up a good point. I feel like every woman should learn how to use a gun and carry a gun. And carry a gun. I mean, you know like, because I, mean? I hang out with a lot of people and a lot of people, like, even men, too. Like, not even just women. I feel like everyone should carry a gun. You know what I mean? To protect themselves, but specifically women, you know? And I've been around a lot of women that are in La La Land, man. Yeah, they're oblivious of their surroundings. Like, their awareness is horrible. Like, just, you know, uh, you know, I'm like, nah, that would never happen. Like, okay. All right. You know what I mean? You can't be thinking like that. You got to be prepared at all times. It could happen at the grocery store. It could happen when you're walking to the bank. It could be at the ATM, pumping your gas. Like, goddamn, what the fuck? Like, you have to be aware. When I'm at the gas station, bro, I have my strap ready to go. Yeah, it's accessible easily accessible when i'm in the like the little things that matter like when you're in the driveway atm and you're fucking just sitting there like don't have it in park have it in drive mm -hmm. keep the doors locked and have it in drive just in case someone tries to run at the run at the car you drive off all you got to do is let go of the let go of the brake mm -hmm. and go that's the the little things you have to you know be prepared for you know yeah, what I mean? man especially in today's society bro there's a lot like people don't care no more bro yeah, and people really don't care. They'll rob your mom. They'll rob. You. They'll, they're robbing old ladies. You know what I'm I saying? Saw like that. They're robbing all types of shit. I saw that. They don't care, bro. There's no moral compass no more. So you just got to be safe, man. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that, it's crazy, bro. Because like, as somebody that carries, like, I carry not with the intent to hurt anybody. I I pray I don't ever have to use. Yeah, my gun, I don't. Bro. I really do. Like, I'd be like, yo, I hope I don't have to use this. But if I do, bro. I know how to. Yeah, and exactly. I will. And I will. And I won't period. think about it twice. Yeah, that's it. Period. Like, like for real, for real. It's either nah, me or I you. Agree, bro. It's that's not a video I, game. I got my sister a Glock, bro. I was like, nah, like you keep this and you keep you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, cause you you have to protect yourself too. I told mom you know I told mom yesterday. She was working. I said, I, I gave you that pistol for a reason. You know what I mean? Like keep it in the car. You know what I mean? Just in case. Mm -hmm. Keep it in your purse, whatever. If you feel uncomfortable, she's like, ah, no. Nah. But that's the thing too. You got to look at the law too, bro. Don't, yeah, nah, just don't, don't, don't carry, just carry a gun. Yeah. Because there's consequences to everything. So if you're not licensed to carry, bro, you're going to fuck yourself over. Facts. Granted, I'd rather be caught with one than without one too. Yeah. But I would, you, like I would, I didn't give a fuck. Like before I got I went through the, the course and got my security licenses and statewide firearm license, all that shit. Like I carried a gun and I wouldn't I didn't have a fucking license and you couldn't tell me not to carry my gun. Yep. Because it's, the world is crazy. Did I ever show anybody? No. Did anybody ever know I had it on me? Not nah. unless you knew me. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But beside that, bro, it's like, nah, I'm gonna have my gun. So like in my opinion, bro, it, it's something that's necessary. The, you know. You could have a gun and still get shot and still get killed and shit could happen. But at least you have a chance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At least you have a chance of making it out and like returning fire. Maybe they might run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like And and it's crazy. Like even cops. The cops have, have the gun for a reason. Why can't we? Yeah, that's why you know, to me it's, it's, like, it's crazy when a cop asks somebody, like, why do you have this? It's like, well, why do you have yours? Exactly. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is out here is, isn't a thug and running around trying to shoot people. Yeah. Like, I I want to protect myself and protect my family. You know what I'm saying? But, listen, It's man, called a firearm for a reason. It's called a firearm. And that's what these kids are doing nowadays. Running to the firearms, bro. Instead of, like, just throwing hands and squashing the beef how you're supposed to, how we used to, bro. Yeah. Just, yo, what are you doing? Fuck you. Meet up at the park. Bet. 
It's crazy pull how Pull up Pull up to the park Throw hands Some, You're gonna get hurt He might get hurt Whatever Yeah You go home <laughs> You got a little and blood on over. you Black guy who cares Bro a little blood Ain't never hurt nobody I'm sorry bro But a little character. fist fight To me a little fist fight Never hurt nobody bro Like shout out to my mom My mom was gangster bro Like she, she wasn't like Gangster for real. She's yeah, a lawyer. Yeah. You know, you know what I mean. But she was like, her mentality was different. Like, I had a problem with one of my neighbors one time, and she's like, "Yo, y'all can square up in the yard." Yeah, square it up. And the dad was like, "Oh no, no, we don't got to do that." She's like, "Nah, if they want to fight, they can fight I'll, right here." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, that's that generation I came from. Yeah, I like, know we can fight right now. We can fight right now, and we'll get it done. And, and that's it. And we that's don't it. have no more problems yeah. after that. I remember that man. I got into a fight at the park, bro, and I we shook hands after that, and that was it. We both went to school, saw each other, walked by each other. Like that's how that, like, like that was it. But the thing is, it's like, was it that deep? No. To keep it going? Nah. And that's the thing. Most times it isn't. Yeah. Most of these kids are out here carrying a beef for two or three years when it was like when there's bloodshed, that's different, bro. Yeah, that's for that's, life. That's for life, yeah. When when somebody gets shot, killed, shit like that, that's for life. Blood yeah. was shed in a different way. Like somebody's life was either taken or try to be taken. Yep. That's different. But if it's fisty cuffs, bro, and y'all fight, man, let that shit go, bro. You just gotta And if y'all feel like you didn't get a fair one, get another one in. Yeah. Run it back again. Yep. And then you might just be done with it after that. Times times are changing, man. That's what it is. You know, like and that was a good topic too, man. Like I, I know somebody fucking they told me they wanted me to talk about this, man, and it's true how much time has changed. You know what I mean? Like, just the point from, like, the early 2000s and shit. You know what I mean? When yeah. we were kids, you know? That's from facts. that time period, I, I really feel like things have changed, like, completely. Imagine, Drastically. Imagine our grandparents and how they think. We we only been alive for 20-something years. Bro, that's why the, the old has to has to die. And the new, you know what I'm saying? For the new to, to do what it does. Because if, like, some of the shit that's going on now, bro, if no. my grandpa would have been around to see it, no, he would have got. Oh my he, lord! Yeah, bro. Like they look at us like holy shit. Like it's a whole. Bro, it's like we're not we're human. Soft vaginas. Yeah. That's what they like. Straight like that. Yeah. That's how they look. At Everything us. Like, we're sensitive. Soft. But it's because it's true, bro. Like they grew up in the era where it was like it was a draft. Like I had to go to war without a choice. Yeah, for real. Without you, like, like they, you're going. They like, lived in a different time, bro. Like yeah. it was just completely different. So it hardened them. To the point, to their mentality, it hardened their mentality. Like, yo, stop crying. Stop crying. We don't do no crying. It just is the way it is. Yeah. It's you know be, everything is being sensitized. And you know what's crazy, bro? You, I don't know if you saw that that podcast with Donald Trump the other day. You I know, saw the you full know, thing. You know they took it down. Yep. In less than 24 hours, And guess bro. what the topic was about? It was about we don't have freedom of speech anymore. Exactly. And they took it down. And you know what's crazy? He told them. He's like, I want to see. He was talking to them, bro. He was like, yo, I want to see how you guys react. Not only when they take it down, but when they threaten your livelihood and maybe more. He's like, let, he's like, let's see if you let me down. And he's like, oh, we won't. He's like, maybe you won't. You know what he you know what he said? He knows what's going on. He's like, maybe you won't let he, me down. But he, the truth of, yeah. of the matter is, is like once you stop, once they stop giving you them six figures a month that you're making off your YouTube channel. And once they stop doing certain things, you might shut the fuck up. Yeah. And that's the difference. That's where the real separate from the fake like are you willing are you willing to stand up for what's right and give up your, your are, bank account yeah, or are you just gonna or are you just gonna shut the fuck up and yeah. not say nothing and that's crazy mm -hmm. and he says it he literally spitting facts bro he's like yo okay yeah, ukraine right now yeah that, I, we all knew this was gonna happen uh you know who's gonna be next he said it's uh, uh china's gonna invade taiwan yeah, he started dropping countries' names. And you he know started talking about how Japan and Germany are both building their militaries up. And there's bio labs, USA bio labs that's found in Ukraine. Facts. You know, and that's I mean, listen, and if people guys, ain't asking is, questions. At the end of the day, bro, we can't sit here and, and tell you guys that these are all facts. Yeah, this is what we've heard. We're not doctors. We're not scientists. We're not politicians. This is this is, this our, is just what we hear and our thoughts on it. You know what I'm saying? But. Exactly. In my opinion, bro, I saw the full podcast and he was speaking facts. And he did, they didn't say anything during that podcast that would make like somebody say that's completely out of line, take it down. Yeah. They didn't say nothing crazy. Exactly. For nothing them, crazy. They nothing. barely cursed. It's because it's the truth. They don't want you to wake up, guys. All the media that's being sent out right now is not really real. 
most like, of this is fake man most of it's it crazy and you know what's crazy it's scary that people are not really realizing it man and i just want to say man i'm sorry to those people man i'm sorry man and i i really hope the best for y'all because when shit really does hit the fan y'all are gonna go first Y'all are the guys that don't care about carrying guns. Y'all are the type that don't care about freedom of speech. Y'all don't care Facts. about anything in our constitution. Okay? Y'all don't care about any of that. And that's scary to me. I can't hang out with y'all. I love y'all, but I can't I can't do it. Yeah, no, you got to have a sense of pride, bro. And you got to have a sense of responsibility, especially when it comes to where you live. You know what I'm saying? Like where you live and how, how you got to protect where you live and the people around you and your family. There's a responsibility to protect in community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And as men... That's our responsibility, bro. You know what I'm saying? I've always said, like, I'm not going nowhere else to go to war. But if war comes here, bro, you best, you best fucking believe it. I'm a, I'll yeah. sleep in a fucking trench in Sanford, nigga, fight. I'll wait, I'll no wait, cap. I'll like, wait for you under my bed with a bro, fucking rifle. Nah, I'm going front line. Here. Oh, here. Yeah. That's oh, what I yeah, mean. Yeah, like, yeah. if here. it's here, oh, oh. like, we get, a, like, shit's, like, on the news. Like, yo, niggas are dropping in from helicopters in Sanford. Nigga, oh, I'm nah. fighting. Oh, yeah, yeah. We going. I'm fighting, yeah, we bro. Right. I'm going over there. I'm strapped the fuck nah, up. Bro, I'm about to blow. blow your yeah. shit straight the fuck back to where you came from. Yeah, exactly, motherfucker. Like, we ain't... But, like, freaker. that's the thing. But it's like... I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it's scary times. It's tough times. But like I said in another podcast before, bro, war leads to advancement. As fucked up as it sounds, like all of this is going to lead to somebody benefiting from it. Yeah, somebody's benefiting. Somebody. Yeah, somebody out there. Then maybe a family or, or like just governments and, 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 you know, just shit like that, bro. A lot of stuff that we don't even know. There's so much things that's hidden that we, we think we know that uh, we don't. The truth, I really feel like that old cliche saying you can't handle the truth, I feel like that's real. Yeah. It's like if we really knew what the real plan was and how it's going to happen regardless of what anybody tries to do, yeah. you'd probably give up on life. Imagine knowing like that. Ass. You'd probably go home, cry yourself to sleep and blow your fucking brains out. Im Hypothetically speaking, people. Yeah. Because we don't want to get cancer. Yeah, exactly. But... Imagine you you being that guy and knowing it all, knowing yeah. the whole thing. And you know what's crazy is like you ever see videos of like the the president just becoming president and he goes into this this office or whatever, gets mm. told something comes out he's not the same person. I wonder what no, they no, tell. No, no, no. There's a book that they read. There's yeah. a book. Yeah, something like that. There's a book that the president gets to read. He he can never speak on it. Yeah, but you got to think about it. Obama came out great. What the fuck did you find out, bro? That Bruh. shit. That nigga aged like this. Yeah, he, like, like that shit's depressing. Yeah. When you look at him, you're like, wow. Like we had something to do with this. Like, oh shit! Wow. Like this bombing was us, and we blamed it on this country. Yeah. Like when you start yeah. reading shit, and you're like, this is this is fucked up. Yeah. Like we're assholes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. fuck it. Send the truth. Wait, wait, wait. There's, <laughs> wait, there's there's alien interaction there's alien babies there's aliens on earth there's aliens hit hiding as as humans and we don't know it something like that bro think bro, about no, it no, that's no. Some, they, like they, some men they in know black about shit. all of that yeah. shit they know what's up like what man I, i've said it before and i'll say it again the number one threat to the u.s military is an alien invasion they say that that's not me talking shit y'all can look this up the biggest threat they say is an alien attack what does that mean? It means that we ain't we don't got the technology to protect ourselves from outside fucking living things or, or whatever the fuck it is. Listen, you know, man. people better start. Listen, if you look it up, bro, the world isn't is in debt. Two hundred and twenty six trillion dollars with a T trillion. Who the fuck are we in debt to? And I've said that over and over. I've asked that question, but it's real like. We owe the world is in debt two hundred and twenty two trillion dollars. To who? <laughs> to who? Nah, for <laughs> real. Who? Like, who is it? Like, do we own? Like, does someone own our planet? <laughs> like, them niggas are like, yo, we came back here in the fucking Egyptian times and gave you all this this technology. We need our money. Yeah, <laughs> for like, real. we need our resources because it's not even money. They probably don't want money. They probably want resources, gold, silver, yeah. shit like that. I'm telling you. Yeah. Your phone wouldn't work without gold. It has gold in it. Why do you think it's so expensive? Yeah, for real. That it has. has. Yeah. It has diamonds. Like, there's certain things you need, natural resources we need to make shit work in our in our society. So, you got to start thinking about that. If we, run, if we run out of that, we run out of some fossil fuel. You know what I mean? People, listen, don't, people don't think, listen. like, our resources are running out or water. Imagine not having any water. That's trash. Bro, that's like, we're going to die. Imagine not having the sun. 
you know they're like you know it's, it, it gets it, it gets crazy man it gets deep man i can get i can really get deep into this but this is more of like that's more of a patreon yeah, yeah that's that's type more of thing of you know what i mean conversation you know but what i mean speaking about money though you know what i mean like i noticed uh, i was watching a documentary about jay-z and i noticed man like a lot of the wealthy people don't really be w- wearing crazy shit yeah like you know what i mean they might be wearing like an expensive watch but the watch is very classy very nice mm-hmm. not really like diamond like out, flashy yeah, you know yeah. not flashy and it's like i feel like that's the way to live i feel like that just comes with time bro and it comes with not knowing when you first get it because i'm telling you bro like a lot of the a lot of the guys that you see like a lot of the guys that i see in the rap game especially that's like the genre i, I listen to the most is like they're just getting a bag so you give yeah. a you give a nigga Two million dollars to spend for the He's first gonna time. He's gonna go spend five hundred thousand on jewelry. Oh yeah, I best believe. Yeah, off That's rip. Off he needs rip. the kit. He needs yeah. the Patek Philippe yeah. iced out. He needs the two Cubans with the fucking medallion. He needs the other wrist lit up. He needs four rings. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he needs the Cartiers with the diamonds on the motherfucker, like Quavo. The, the, the gold like, condoms. But the the nigga no, that good. signed him is looking at him like. Nigga, you're going to be broke in two years and none of that shit's going to be worth half of what it's worth now. Yeah. Because you're getting that shit custom. Yeah, you can't like, resell you gotta it. Think about I mean, it. you Lil, can, but it's not as worth. Lil weird. Baby paid $150,000 for his chain and his baby medallion. Where the fuck can you go sell a medallion that's this big, covered in diamonds, that says baby? Yeah. Ain't nobody going to buy that shit. Like, <laughs> nah. You're going to walk past that shit and be like, I don't want that shit. Who the fuck is baby? Wham, wham, wham. Bitch, I'm the baby. Nah, but you, for real, yeah, it's, like, it, it's like, nah, but when you do, when you know better, you do better, bro. And I feel like, like, you go through that stage. I went through that stage when I was younger. I wanted jewelry. I used to wear chains and this and that yeah. and fucking earrings and fucking whatever. Like, now, a watch, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a ring and some glasses. That's it, bro. People I'm be good. telling me, man. They're like, man, why don't you get a new car? I'm like, what's wrong with the car that I have now? That bitch is kicking. That bitch is moving still, bro. That bitch is still going. You know, that's the problem with our generation, bro. As soon as shit starts getting a little fucked up, nobody wants to fix it. They They just want to move on. And that's what cars, that's what relationships, that's what everything, bro. That's what what comes down to caring what other people think, too. Bro, facts. That's a big fact. That's a big part of it. But it's like, bro, just take care of what you got. And it'll last. Yeah, get your oil changes. Why do you think that there's old old heads out here driving around in their cars from the 70s? And they look brand new. They do. They, they sound brand new. Yeah, they sound nice as fuck. But that shit's from the seventies because they took care of it. It's an antique, you know. They might have crashed it before, but you can't tell why because they fixed it up and took care of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's the thing, bro. Like, that I'm is telling true. you, our generation is quick to walk away from something, and be like, "Fuck it, I'm out. I'm gonna go get something better. I'm yeah, gonna go yeah. get something new. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars a month. Like yeah. again, like I really feel like that's the worst mistake you can do to yourself. When I when people tell me bro. I'm gonna get a car payment, I'm like, don't do that to yourself. Don't, if if Please you're don't. not doing it to build credit, don't do it. And if you're not doing it, like Straight if you have up. a car already that's working fine, stay with don't the car. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do if it. If you need it and you need it, and you have nothing, then it's then you know there's times for that. You know it makes sense. You know, but I would still save up money and buy a cash. I'm the type of dude to buy a car for three three thousand dollars and fucking stay with that bitch for fucking ten years instead yeah. of fucking paying three fifty for the next ten years or the next five years. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm just that type of dude. Like, hey man, everybody thinks differently, you bro. Know? Like I said, the only thing that that helped me with, bro, is credit. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's it. That's different. Besides you know? that, it's like, but now the like once you do it and it's over. Then you could be like, oh, fuck it. I got the cards paid off. Now I got the credit. I could go get a house. Yeah. I could go do this. Or I could, like, it's literally, that's the only benefit you get. Yeah. But that 450, 350, 200 a month hurts. Every time you got to pay it, it There's, fucking hurts. And bro. that's and that's back in the day prices. I can't imagine now. I know people paying six, $700 a month oh, for those a car are people payment. Oh, those people with fucked up uh, insurance, though. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those that are people, true. like, most of the people that are paying 700 for a car that's like 2015. Nigga, your insurance is fucked. Yeah. And that's what's fucking your payment. But I'm telling you, bro, you you, you steer clear. You don't get into accidents. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you'll be good, man. Yeah. Like, you'll be good. It's true, though. It's true. Man, I never had a car payment ever, guys. I never, I never did. Yeah, bro. I tell this guy, bro, maybe you should. 
Maybe you should. Maybe it nah. helps build credit. I would love. And it, it teaches yeah. you about responsibility. I, like it, whether it breaks down, you got to pay for it. Yeah. You get new tires, you got to pay for it. Yeah. Like it just gives you that responsibility every month of like I have to do this, mm-hmm. regardless of anything. I want to get a motorcycle. I wouldn't mind doing monthly payments on a motorcycle though. That's cheap. That's like a hundred dollars. Yeah, month. I would do that definitely. And I know a girl. She told me she said, "Hey, uh, you know that shit builds my fucking credit." She it told all me builds she's, your she's only paying like 150 a month or some shit like that. And I was just like, Yeah, Damn. but there's cars like that. See, that's the thing too, though. Nobody wants to go get the car that's 150 a month. Yeah, yeah, they want the they, they want, want the, the fucking brand new BMW yeah. 750 series, all this. They'll finesse, sh- they'll be like, hey, you know, you got to prove for this, but you also got to prove for this. You know? Yeah, but that's how they catch your stupid ass. Yeah, exactly. Because you're just looking at the name and that beamer, you're literally gonna end up paying two times as much as it's worth. Because most people don't understand that there's interest. That's why there's people that'll pay a car for months and months and months and look up in a year and be like, I still owe 80% of the fucking car. I thought I paid it off by now. No, nigga, you weren't paying towards the principal. Ooh, so now you're fucked. I didn't even think about that. They boy. fuck you, bro. Don't fuck you quick. Damn, I would I'm be pissed. You, you learn. This is what I'm saying. That's another part of it. Like Damn. you learn life lessons going and doing certain things like that. You're like, oh, this is how this works. Y'all are, I'm never doing this shit again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to build my credit, and that's it. Like, fuck y'all niggas. That's crazy, man. Yeah, you know, when you're doing business, bro, you know, we were talking about the business world and how things are different than the regular civilian life. You know what I mean? And how people are. You know, they, mm-hmm. you have to be really professional at all times. You know, we smoke weed all the time. You know, but there's certain times and days that you shouldn't really be smoking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's certain times and days that if you're actually doing what you're supposed to do, you don't have the time to smoke. Exactly. Like, if you're actually out here like, oh, fuck, I got to do this. Fuck, I got to do that after. Okay, I got to go have a meeting after that. Like, you start, by the time you look up, you're like, fuck, it's 5 o'clock. I haven't even smoked today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're like, man, man, like, there's and times like that. And then you're like, like fuck that. it, I don't want to smoke. Yeah, or, or <laughs> I'll just <laughs> wait. I'll just yeah, wait. Like, wait till after. I'll wait till I'm done later tonight. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, whatever. But that just... I agree, bro. Like when it, especially when it comes to business, bro. I'm the type of person where, like, you know me, bro. I've smoked for years. I, I'm a smoker, but you just got to know how to carry yourself, bro. You can't go like smelling, reeking, like yeah. It, like you know? if you do it, bro, just take care of what you like. Be responsible. Yeah, put it's some eye drops. About what in. you do? Yeah, like put some eye drops. Don't smoke right before you fucking walk into place. Yeah, wake up that morning, smoke. Wait a couple hours, take a shower, you know what I'm saying? Chill, Smell and good. Then go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Like put some mind drops in and go have a meeting if that's what you do. Because you know people saying? look down upon that shit. They do. At the end of the day, like if you're going to multi million dollar business and you're walking in and you're reeking like bud and everybody's a pothead in that bitch, they're gonna be like, Come on, bro. Like it still gives off a sense of irresponsibility. That's all it is. It's yeah. like, damn nigga, you had to walk like you had to smoke on the way here. Yeah, but you don't have enough self control to just not smoke until after the meeting. Exactly, and you know let, let's like, not forget about all the dumbasses that do smoke weed. Because there's a lot of smart people that do, but there's a lot of people that make us look bad. Yeah, there's a shit ton of people that make us like look horrible, like horrible, and it gives off a bad vibe. But you know what, you bro? Know? It, that's why I would like or look. That's why like certain people have given me compliments over the years about that. Yeah, it's like wow, like I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell yeah. that you smoke or that you're much. high. Or that you smoke at all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you, you just, just be responsible, bro. You And don't don't give weed a bad name. Yeah. If you can't handle it, bro. If you're roll, rolling around fucking doing this. and Like, I understand the giggles and shit. Shit happens. Yeah. But it's like, if you can't control yourself, don't smoke. Like, there's people that'll smoke, bro, and just be fucked. Like, beyond fucked. It's like, damn, nigga, that wasn't that funny. Yeah You know what I'm saying Like yo relax Like you're extra loud right now Yeah like you're doing too much Yeah it's like Oh like And there's some I, I don't think I've met anybody That was too loud I don't I think have. so You you have Fuck yeah I think I met people That were like real quiet They get real fucking quiet I don't mind that Yeah I don't mind you're that chill. at all Yeah exactly <laughs> Because <laughs> you're, you're supposed cool. to be relaxed yeah. Exactly But like no Like there's just some people Like it's not for everybody It's like some people Take two shots bro And they act drunk Oh yeah, like that. Ah! It's the same thing. Some people take two hits and be like, "Oh my god, dude, I'm, I'm so, so fucking stoned." Dry. And it's like, bro, if you're stoned off of two hits, bro, I, nigga, I don't, I don't know, know what to tell you. I don't want to hang out with you. Yeah, yeah, in no way. Yeah, bro. You know those people that giggle, bro. That's like my little brother, bro. He be giggling. He's a giggler, bro. He be laughing at giggle everything, ass, like giggling, giggling. Like he be the type in the bathroom, be giggling by himself. Like, bro, we are not on shrooms right now. You better relax. You know. 
Yeah, nah, for real, Taking bro. Taking shrooms, man. I haven't done it in a while. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't done it in a minute, bro. But, hey, guys, we don't condone drug use on YouTube. Go over to Patreon for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't like it, man. Yeah, no drugs. I'm pretty sure Bob does. And Say no to drugs. Yeah. Nah, bro. I was watching this documentary, though, man, about Nipsey, man. And if y'all, if y'all don't know about Nip, man, you know, I, we both look up to him. He, he, he did some shit, man. And he's smart. He's a smart dude. If you watch some of his documentaries and how he thought and how he ran his businesses and, you know, he was trying to beat the system. And he did. Bro, the and thing is, bro, Nipsey was a different type of intelligent. <clears throat> he's just a product, product of his environment. I've said that before. Like, you can't blame somebody for being a part of where they're from. Like... When he was growing up, bro, you had to choose or get the f- beat the fuck up by both sides. <laughs> like, yeah, what are you going like, to do? It's, it's either like, you're with them or you're with us. Yeah. And you live here. Yeah. So, so you, go- you're, you're, are you with them or you with where you live? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> not so we going to whoop your ass every day when you walk nah, outside. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And that's all very diverse. <laughs> You ever seen that, bro? Yo, shout out to Crip Mac, man. Yeah, bro. That, he's doing his thing, bro. Yeah. But now, going back to Nip, man, Nip was a smart dude to the point where, like, he was into astrology, bro. Like, he, he could have been an astrologist if he really, like, if he applied himself. But he decided to help his people, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, at a young age, he decided to help his people. And it's crazy to think about how, like, the dude Charleston White, I listen to him a lot. He talks about Nipsey, and he's like, yo, Nipsey's a character. But Aramis was that dude. Like, Aramis was the smart dude, the business guy. Like, Nipsey's just the character that he had to play yeah. in order to accomplish his goal. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But Nipsey Hustle is just a character. The man, Aramis, mm. is different. And his brother? And it's true. Now they're different, bro. And his brother, though, was like, his brother was getting locked up all the time. His brother hey, was he doesn't making look like, money, bro. Yeah. Uh, there was one of their homeboys that talked about that. He was like, yo, bro, Black Sam was Black like, Sam, there you go. Like, he's like, yo, we were fucking around and like hustling. And one day we were showing off, like, oh, I got 10 bands, I got 15. How much you got? And Black Sam had a quarter million put up. And he's like, that's when I started realizing the power of saving your money instead of going to the club. He's like, we were going to the club and spending the next bottle, bitches, blah, blah. He's like, when we looked up, I had 10. My boy had 15. Black Sam had 250,000. <laughs> and I'll be like, holy and he's like, See? shit. And he's like, I'm just, I'm going to reinvest. Yeah. I'm going to put this into something else. You know what I'm saying? While y'all go to the club and spend your five racks. Yeah. <laughs> Real it. talk. Yeah, baby. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> I'll throw you a little bud here and there, baby. But I ain't going to give you no money. <laughs> I'm done with that. I did my time. And you know, that was a conversation, though. That was a conversation I had with Jay yesterday, bro. Yeah, Speaking yeah. of it, bro. Yesterday. Bro. He's like, bro, like, save your money. That's facts. That's facts. Save your money, bro. Because you, And it's like, bro, because. If these, you don't absolutely need it, don't even spend it, bro. Yeah. If it's not, if it's not investment for for your future bro don't even spend and it, the thing is too like i forgot what i was gonna say because you know i'm kind of stoned from earlier but also like what was i gonna say oh yeah you're gonna pay for pussy regardless oh yeah like 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 he was talking about how his uncle paid like you know on perfume and taking his girl he's like that's mm-hmm. he's like that's money he's like yeah he's like you're gonna pay regardless mm-hmm. of some type of way you know what i mean you take her out to dinner you fucking you know you pick her up from work or you're spending money on something that's fact. If, if you like it or not. That's fact. So, you know, make sure, you know, you're you're with the right woman that, you know, you're willing to spend the money on. You know what I mean? Not somebody that's just using you for for money. That's a big fucking fact. You know? But with that, guys, we're out of here. We that's, appreciate that, that's everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already, and go check us out on Patreon, man. And listen, don't forget to tell somebody you love them. Peace.